Rule. Hey everyone, it's me, Sean Capri. Welcome to E3 2018 in episode 149 of We the Gamer Cast. That comes to you uh, usually every Monday, but it's Friday, day three of E3 2018. Nintendo Day is here, everybody. Thank you for listening on on iTunes. Jake, everybody, just chillax. All the dogs, just everybody, take it easy. It's just the start of another amazing show. I hope you guys have been enjoying this week of E3 madness. Thank you for being here. Thumbs up on the video. Even if you listen to the podcast, go over to youtube.com slash we the nerdy. Give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. Guys, thank you so much. Holy crap, I'm having so much fun with this this junk. And I get to do it all thanks to our people at patreon.com slash make us better. You make us better, you make this video. We get recurring guests, everything like that. Returning, recurring, especially our platinum executive producers, Corey Hicks at twitch.tv slash chicks underscore 18 and Mr. Mark Moody at Mr. Moody Reviews on youtube.com slash Mr. Moody Reviews. Our gold executive producers, Sheldon Benedict and Tony Baker from Quest for Pixels, our executive producers, Dude427, Marty Jean, Aaron Doherty, David Ray, Jesse Armstrong, Joel Brooks, James Johnson, Nick Militia, Tim Alf. I, I feel weird. I didn't say Dr. Doom. Nine O's. Hi, guys. How are you? I hope that you've had a great week. This week has completely flown by. I've had a ton of great, just kind words. Everybody's super excited with all the guests that have been on. A ton of people. Dave Moore is FaceTiming me right now. Look at this. Dave wants to hang on. Let's actually we're going to do this right now. We're going to put Dave on the show. I'm literally recording the intro right now. How do I get you on speakerphone? Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Sean. It's working. Hi, Dave. Look, you're on We The Gamer Cast, episode 149. It's going to go up on Friday. Isn't that neat? What, what, what predictions is this? Is this it, Nintendo? This is for the Nintendo show. It's going to happen. You're going to be on the show. This is the weirdest thing that's ever happened. So I'm confirming that Fantasy X for the Xbox is also going to get announced for the Switch. Here's the thing. We haven't, we've had a lot of things happen since you and I last chatted. Um, hasn't been, hasn't been ruled out yet. Dave, can I call you back in like five minutes while I introduce the show? Yeah, sounds great. This is amazing. Bye. This is the best thing that ever happened. I'm so glad I took that call. I'm so glad that I had, uh, Fiona and Nikki on the show last, uh, two days ago. And we had Dave and Luke and Mitch on the show before. I can't remember if I mentioned guys, I was on the Xbox, they did the Xbox Empire PSVG, their Xbox prediction show. I like their format as well. They did a, uh, two things we know that are going to happen, two things we wish would happen and two things that would be awesome, but will never, ever happen type of thing over there. So thank you to Nathan Thomas. And I got to, uh, at voice ed by Nathan. I got to hang out with uh, with Luke Lore again. That was pretty sweet. Um, one more after this today, guys. We'll talk about that at the end. Why don't we get right into it? Thank you, Dave, for uh, mixing this intro up. This is hilarious. My guest today, Bobby Paul's the Nintendo guru back from the dead. And last second, this is a huge shout out. High five, amazing. Uh, Patrick Paddywag and Nintendo Talk. I think that's his middle name. At Nintendo Talk. Follow him on Twitter. Thank you so much. Um, we had an unfortunate. Uh, we, we booked this recording for Mother's Day, and I don't think anybody realized that it was Mother's Day until that day that we were sat down to record, like, oh, crap, it's Mother's Day. So thank you for Patty Wagon for jumping in. You definitely have to check out his new Bargain Bros that he does with Jams. It is absolutely amazing. It's over at Jams' uh, channel, youtube.com slash jamsgams. Here's Bobby, Patrick, and me talking about Nintendo with you! Uh, boom, boom, boom. starts to these things so it's it's uh i'll still do like the intro like the usual shows and whatnot so so I'm, what is this is this just going on we the gamer case oh, okay yeah, yeah it'll go this will actually go up on friday so monday is xbox and then wednesday is playstation and then this will go up on friday and then monday is third party with steve tilly and marissa roberto which that's I'm stoked a about kid, dude. That's, that's huge. That's awesome. That's the show I want to listen to. Oh, I can't like, wait. Fuck I, the rest. She she's that's... already kind of done a bit of a jewel, so she's like, if something else comes up, I'm gonna have to do that. So I'm like, oh, yeah. that's why I haven't really announced it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, she just asked Chelsea to do her wedding. Well, that's what you say to you. Well, you know what, Marissa, Chelsea might do the same thing to you at the fucking right? wedding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's gonna be fucking seven months pregnant, for this, dude. She might just fucking you know something might just happen. That would be fucking hilarious. Oh, God. That, that's huge. Guys, I'm I'm pumped to do this with you. I'm guys. ready, man. This the thing awesome. is, like, I feel like this whole time we, we did a bunch of recording on Friday and yesterday, and like I have the right people at every show. Like everybody was stoked about Xbox on the Xbox show, and everybody was yeah. like basically saying, "I won't watch anything but PlayStation." 
and now I've got you guys. Like, literally, like, Nintendo is in your name. So, like, this is... Exactly. <laughs> like, nobody else is coming with, like, x Sean or anything like that. Like, I don't... I don't even... It just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Like, this is the brand. I remember... I'm going to throw this at you, Sean, and you're going to get a little upset. But when I was when I was talking to Brian from Image and Forum the one time, it's actually the geek cast, right? <laughs> When the first time when Toby and I interviewed him, right? Mm-hmm. He uh he said that. He talks about Nintendo and mm-hmm. he's like, dude, Nintendo just has this thing, like people actually get Nintendo logos branded on them, like tattooed on them, and then like they put it in their names, like Nintendo and all that. He's like, mm-hmm. that he's like, that doesn't happen for Sony and Microsoft and all that. He's like, I'm like, Yeah, you're kinda what are you gonna get? The Windows emblem tattooed on your shoulder? Like that's <laughs> You would. You'd yep. get Skype across your chest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Skype logo. <laughs> Skype! <laughs> Mixer on the butt, too. Yeah, um, you, would get, you would get the Skype logo on your chest, and if you're like, why you have the Skype? No, this is for Sean. This mm-hmm. is Skype. This, this, this means hope. That's what this, this well, it's really, means. It's, it's really awkward because I had the Beam logo on my lower back, but now it's Mixer. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> awkward for a couple of reasons i think guys i think we might as well just like roll into it i'm so glad that you're here um jules rest in peace bobby is is here and patrick the paddy wagon himself nintendo talk here to do some some predictions guys this is going to be a friday when everybody's airing this so who knows we're recording on sunday who knows what could happen if uh something has been leaked between now and then which is very likely the way things are going or if emily rogers is gonna kind of Give us something, Bob. You want to you want to touch on the Emily Rogers situation? Just kind of call out the it's elephant in the simple. room. I think she's full of crap. Okay. I think she Not she makes these grandiose predictions and nothing. Occasionally she hits on things, but like I'm still waiting for Mother Three that she predicted two years ago. Fair. Like where's it at? Like she <laughs> yep. swore up and down it was coming. Yep. And it's still not around. So for me, I don't believe anything. She she also said that Zelda was going to get delayed. Like, she it did wasn't say that. That's active. true. I forgot about it, it that. It wasn't going to be at the Switch launch. She said that. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of things, a lot of predictions that she's made over the years. Fake that, news. like, she, she hit a couple, and people take her word for it. It's like she has these rabid fans that believe everything she says, and then she has people like me that are just like, I take everything she says with a grain of salt because – I just don't believe the nonsense. You, you don't want to get too too excited about it either. She's sort of, in a way, reminds me of my dad watching CSI and NCIS, which are like the two shows he just loves. And he'll just like call out like, it was him. It, this is what happened. Like he's predicted yeah, yeah, on the yeah. show, but like a thousand times. So yeah, yeah, like yeah. eventually he's bound to get something right, yeah. which is essentially exactly. what we're going to do today. I think guys, exactly. really, yeah, we're going to call out about, go. um, between depending on, I don't know if you, I know Bobby has a list. Patrick just showed mm-hmm. up. Thank you, Patrick, for just, uh, for filling yeah, in for, for Jules. Um, if time permitting, we may just race through this. We may go up to five. Uh, but three okay. is kind of what I asked you guys to come with. Um, I expected, yeah. Uh, I did I did um, an episode yesterday to the PlayStation. We just raced through three, so we went straight to five. So that was great. Yeah. The day before we did Xbox, five was kind of maybe too many because I had too many people. Yeah, yeah. But hopefully people liked it, and I've got people who love Nintendo. Before we get into the predictions, Patrick, I, um, I'm i curious, what is your like routine? What How do you celebrate E3? It's Christmas time. Do you put like a stocking on the wall? Oh, man. E3 <laughs> stocking. <laughs> So last year, uh, it was a mistake. I did not take it off, and I regretted everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, normally I just, I just, I'm a fan. I'm a casual fan. I just watch it. I don't stream it or anything. Uh, I've been thinking about doing it this year, but I just like seeing everything and going to people's streams. Like I think Bobby, you did yours last year. I just like seeing like genuine reactions mm-hmm. and like the chat going and like you can really gauge like you know did Nintendo make a good decision or yeah. so that's how, that's how I like watching it i love it man i don't know why every every year this never happens but i always think it would be a really good idea if like everybody just jumped in the same chat like we were all oh, like skype calling or discord or whatever and like i picture like because right now we've got three of us on the call imagine like yeah. nine and we're like the the brady bunch <laughs> we're all like up and, up, up and down <laughs> left and right at each other it'd be such a good time um but it would be like having everybody in that same room together of course bobby you're gonna be there this year uh, your e3 tradition I'll be is a little bit e3, different but i won't be there during the press conference because the press conferences happened prior the E3 launch, I will be there for the Nintendo one. Right. So the Nintendo one happens June 11th in mm-hmm. the morning. So I'll be there in the hotel with Jules watching that one. Um, but like, this is a little weird for me too because this is the first year that you and I aren't doing anything in I a couple know. of years. Like we like, 
it started two years ago that we watched the Sony and the Xbox One, and then last year we streamed everything. Mm-hmm. Like we did every single press conference, I think, except for the uh, the digital revolver one. We didn't do that one, but we oh, did that. we, we should have, man. We we got we cannot <laughs> miss that oh, one. That was so good. I forgot about that. Um, How did I get I away mean, with we that? We did Bethesda. We did all of them. Mm-hmm. We did every single one last year, and, and it was really a lot of fun. This will be the first year in, in two years that I haven't done anything, which. I'm going to E3, so that's a little bit takes a little <laughs> bit more precedence. But this will probably be the last time I go to E3, mm-hmm. just because it'll be the first and last time I go, depending on my experience. Because I just I love the sitting there and watching this stuff and like the hype. And I feel like being there, I'm going to miss a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Like it's going to be a matter of going there for the day, seeing what's going on, and then running back to the hotel room at night. And checking the feeds to see what got announced and what didn't yep. get announced. Yeah, man. I feel like when you're on the floor, you're not you're not getting that that what's going on. You know? It's it's tougher. So. And I'm curious to like I'm wondering if this is going to be a huge E3. Is this going to be maybe one that we forget about in future years? Like Patrick, overall from a higher level, like what are you sort of expecting? You, like, I'm not ready to be blown away. To be honest with you, my expectations are in the basement where I'm recording yeah. right now. But I don't know. Like maybe I'm maybe it's just me. I'm hoping to be blown away. Literally, of like, course. I hate I hate being a downer, but I, I gotta Aww. look at everyone's like <laughs> I, I gotta look at everyone's point of view, like how this year has been going so far, and it's not been that great. I right? mean, we, we've had we've had some ports. They're, the indie games have, are always there, but if you owned a Wii U, if you're not a fan of indie games, which I don't know how you're not, this year's ki- kind of been a downer. I mean, yep. there's some stuff that we know is pretty close to being done. But I, I wouldn't put it past Nintendo to have a giant E3. I mean, they're getting a lot of the news, like, out of there. Like, the online, so glad that that wasn't a part of the conference. Agreed. So, I don't know, man. There's a lot that they, there's a lot that can be shown. So. I think the one thing that is in the back of my mind that, like, kind of keeps me from getting too down in the dumps about it is Nintendo with their increasing all of their expectations. And how many Switches are they going to sell this year? They don't just think they're going to sell because people are just discovering it for the first time. That means, to me, it means that they've got games. And maybe mm-hmm. maybe Emily Rogers is onto something with her whole thing. But without further ado, why don't we roll into the predictions? I do have, at the at the end of uh, every round, guys, I've got a ton of predictions. By far, more people chimed in on the Nintendo <laughs> predictions than anything else. So thank you to everybody. Quick shout out to uh, Rombulus1178, Joel Brooks, Brad Kaboski, <laughs> Matt Knight, Mr. Mr. Skinny Matt. Uh, Mr. Moody, Thomas King, Rybo, Caro the Nintendame, Tim Alf, Thanos, uh, and apparently Thanos has no Twitter. I have to assume that's Joseph Moran. I don't know why, but that just <laughs> screams Joseph to me. And um, Toby Thornton and Jerry Gauthier. Thank you guys. We're going to get to your predictions nice. very, very soon. And by the way, if you've missed the earlier this week, Xbox was Monday, PlayStation was Wednesday, and now here we go. Uh, if this is your first time, here are the rules. We're going to go through one by one. We're going to have our predictions. And then we're going to have a little discussion. Is that actually going to happen? Is it likely, unlikely? How outlandish are these predictions? Patrick, I'm just realizing you may be hearing these rules for the first time, man, because I had yeah. a chat going with Jules and everything. Okay, so let me slow down a second. <laughs> now you're so, good. I'm, I'm good. We're going to give you a rating. Okay, so if, you, if, uh, if it's likely, we think like, yeah, that's a no-brainer, you get a one. If it's totally outlandish, like never going to happen, you get a five. Dave Moore was on the show, and he had some stuff about like people making games in space about, uh, I don't even know, open-world sports games called Fantasy X, for God's sakes. So he got tens. We broke the scale for him. <laughs> so one to five is basically how it goes, and then if you get right or okay. parts of it right, it'll be a multiplier or something. I don't know how it's going to work. I've never done this before, but it's a good time. So with that said, as my good friend Joseph would say, with that said, Bobby, kick it off, man. What's your first prediction? I think I'm going to throw a softball out there for the first one because it's kind of what I want, um, but it's also what I think will happen. I believe Animal Crossing finally gets announced for mm-hmm. the Switch, um, and I also believe that it hits March 2019. Ooh. I don't feel like it's a 2018 game um, just because of the way – they typically sometimes launch Animal Crossing in the time that they do it. So I'm leaning more towards March um, and into 2019. I think that a lot of people want it this year. I just don't see them turning around and going like six months later, not even. Like, here it is. Plus, I think that the truth of the matter is, is with we know Smash coming in 2018, the, 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 the rumored, you know, whole thing of like Pokemon in the, in the horizon – can Nintendo really come that heavy and strong at the end of the year? 
could be wrong. It could be the, it could be why Kimishima said we're going to do twenty million this year because he knows he gets smashed at Animal Crossing, two of his biggest franchises coming. So, um, but that's my thing, Animal Crossing, and I feel like it's going to be March twenty sixteen or twenty eighteen. 2019. I got you. I got you. Nobody's going to hold you that far. I got you. Man, I love this. I love that Nintendo is like that open. I don't know if we get this from anybody else saying, we're going to sell this many. And like yeah. you're, you guys are part of this. There's going to be a ton of switches around. It's for the gamers who want to be yeah. a part of a giant community. It's for the developers who are making games and they want a giant audience. And they're setting their sights high. I love this notion of okay. So they said twenty million. Is that? Mm-hmm. And you start to do like algebra in your head. Is that like an Animal Crossing plus a Smash plus a Pokemon? It's like mm, mate, that almost seems too much. Maybe twenty million isn't yeah. enough. I don't well, know. Well, if they go the way of the 3DS, right? And they go here's. Smash, and here's Animal Crossing, and Pokemon. Oh, by the way, here's special edition consoles. It's over. That's We're all going to jump it That on sounds like 40 it. million to me. That <laughs> yeah, sounds crazy exactly. to me. Patrick, what do you exactly. think of this, man? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out this year, to be honest. Um, Animal Crossing, I think they they focused on, or they said that they were going to focus on games coming out this year. I don't believe that. I, I think that they're going to show some future projects. I agree. Uh, Animal Crossing, I really hope is there. I don't think Bobby's that crazy. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's definitely... <laughs> Not for this reason. It's definitely like a low-key game that people are, are all asking for. Uh, and I think with the online coming, that would be a that would be a great game to come out. But, yeah, Ooh. I think early 2019. I didn't even think about that. Mm-hmm. Like, that would be such a huge... Like, hey, yeah. you want this? You need to have online service. Because that whole... Animal Crossing is big with the whole online community in terms of like mm-hmm. going and visiting each other's towns. So that I could see totally that like being a thing and being huge. I would love to just be able to go walk over to your town and just like show up because like we're friends and like you <laughs> yeah. always allow friends in instead of like that would be. Do you want awesome. to open your connection? Do you want to allow this? Yeah. Like that's nonsense. Yep. We got to get away from that. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna give. I think this is pretty likely. I want it to happen. Also, if it does happen, I want to give you points. So I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give you a three, Bobby. What do you What do you think, Pat? A three. Actually, maybe that's too high. No, I'm gonna give you a two. I'm gonna give you a two. I'm gonna give you two. I'm gonna give you a little high. I got a little excited there, guys. I don't know how this game works. We don't that's know. That's crazy. That's such a low score, man. I, I think it's pretty. Right, I think you're at least gonna get partial points for Animal Crossing. Okay. So I think maybe March 2019 is maybe where you drop, but you're gonna at least get a point five yeah. times this four. I guess maybe how it works. I don't know. I will see. This is gonna be amazing. Patrick, I'm very curious, man. Kick us off with your very first prediction. Okay, so this is how the this is how the presentation starts, right? We see someone dropping out of a plane, and Fortnite yep. comes to the Switch. I think that's lit- that should be the first thing. And this game is on another level of popularity. Yeah. And I don't know who I would be more mad at, Epic or <laughs> Nintendo, for not putting this on. I so- totally agree. And I think that we get a Yoshi skin. I think we get some clouds as the glider. I think we get DDD's hammer. Like, I think they're going to go all out with the Nintendo exclusive stuff. But uh, Fortnite, and I think it will be available maybe, uh, I don't want to say that day, but really close, really close, mm-hmm. maybe like a month out. I totally agree with this, man. This, to me, is such yeah. a no-brainer. And if nothing else, the whole... I mean, everybody said this a million times. It's showing up on phones, for God's sakes. How is yeah. it not on Nintendo? This is going to be such a no-brainer. I was actually saying on our PlayStation prediction show that um, there's going to be cross-play announcement across That's all the things. Gonna, yeah, I did have I did have it in mind as one of my predictions, but I'm not going to use it. And it's But in mine, I said, like, it'll be cross-play across the board except for playstation like it won't go in obviously playstation will stay in their own little corner but i think it's the That's fact that more epic likely came out yeah my when they came out and was like hey when epic came out and was like we're not working on it i was like Bogus. really yeah there's no way you've done every single thing <laughs> except for that you're not messing with that this is the most sold console in the last year like this is the, this is the powerhouse mm-hmm. and you want nothing to do with it and i think nintendo kind of learned from the minecraft thing of like we can't come this this late to the game. Yep. Like, let's get on on top. And they seem like, like they've been getting on top of these things quicker than they have in the past. So, I really think it's going to come. I really do. I don't know that the exclusive stuff will be at launch or right away, but it's definitely like as quickly as they jumped on the Rocket League thing, this has got to be. You oh, know, because yeah. they launched and it was like boom. Last year they launched. They announced Rocket League at E3 last year. I think it's very similar. I think I. I yeah. The funny I thing is, I don't even all... really play this game. I'm sorry, Patrick. Go ahead. 
Oh, no. Oh, I was just going to say, I also think that, you know, the install base is probably going to be around, like, 20 million at that time. And I yeah. think it's kind of a fight for, like, what Battle Royale game is going to be there first. Because I really think that Nintendo fans, as soon as they have one, they're going to stick with it. They're going to yeah. buy cosmetics. Um, what's that one? There's one coming out. There is one coming out. I forget the name of it. You're right, though. It's like an indie game. I think yeah. that's the only competition for Fortnite. I think if PUBG went on, I don't think people would be down with it. Just Fortnite's such a good, good fit, though. Like, it just looks yeah. like a Switch game. It looks like a Nintendo that's game. A and the one, like, if there's looks- one engine that they all talk about being, like, compatible on Switch was Unreal Engine. Yeah. So this is a no-brainer. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bobby. I and the thing is, the thing with this is, is, like, it stole the momentum from PUBG. Is like, crazy? last year, I remember everybody saying, like, Xbox, you need to make this an exclusive. You need to make it big and take it. They didn't do that. And now, all of a sudden, like, PUBG is, like, falling apart. I and know. it's, like, not even on the level of Fortnite. And I think because of the cartooniness, it fits so well with what Nintendo does. Yep. Like, it's a perfect crap. Crazy I, I, Justice. That was the name. Yeah, Bobby, let's, get, it. let's right. give it a rating, man. I think we're all excited for various reasons, whether we want to play it or if we just think this is going to be big for the console. I think it's a platform. one. You think it's a one? You think it's pretty? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, think, I think probably the same as we with yep. the Animal Crossing. It's probably like a three. Okay. Two, I, I was going to get. I was, whatever, I'm whatever, you give, whatever you gave me for Animal Crossing okay. is probably about the same. I'm going to. I'm going to give it a two as well. So that that's awesome, guys. This is we're off to a great start. Yeah. I've got a. I've got one that is going to fit specifically in. I'm going to count this as an E3 thing. I know the they said the Splatoon announcement that we're going to get mm-hmm. that's going to shock the world uh, is coming prior to this, but I don't care. I'm counting it. It's my show. I'm counting it. The announcement is going to be this. It's going to be a new <clears throat> mode in Splatoon where it will be three teams. It'll be a Splatoon three-way. It'll be either 4v4v4 or 3v3v3. And the Octolings will be the new group that you can actually start to play as. So instead of just like Turf War being like just two people, oh. you can actually like, it'll just be this, th- this giant three-way and it will completely change the game. I think that would be absolutely incredible to have a, a new, new take on mm-hmm. on the traditional mode that we've all come to know and love. So for me, I would say you would get an eight or a nine on this one because <laughs> because the Nintendo. Scale. Well, no, because Nintendo just came out and said this is a false rumor, and Which it's not. There is, they, they, that we're going to have this big announcement. That's going to. Well, no, it came world. back. That's did the it come back again? Development. Yeah, it's it's weird. It I'm came back at the eight. Walk it no, in your eight, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, Pat. What, no, no, no so I guess. Back? Yeah, I guess the the new rumor is that there is going to be an announcement. It's going to be like shown in some some magazine. There's been a symbol, uh, this weird symbol which I don't recognize. Uh, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna go high with Sean. I'm gonna keep it yeah. on the scale. I'm gonna say four, but um, I I don't think this is game mode based. I think this might be media like an anime or something like that but i don't know how that would be like changing the world or like groundbreaking or something i feel like the the choice of words was <laughs> was a I little off the choice that. of words was weird because when i heard that i thought they're gonna do battle royal like i felt yeah. like that announced with that wording it has to be something huge and what's out there that's huge and it's it's battle royale so i could really especially with the fact of like splatoon does the 4v4 Mm-hmm. Um, what if that's the case? But I think it's honestly, it'll probably go something as you get to pick, you get to vote on your map. Like it'll be something that we've been screaming for, and then everybody will be like, oh, who cares? Like you know, what I mean, like it's something that everybody's been wanting, and then because it's not this this juggernaut thing, everybody will just crap all over it. And I think right, here that- we here we go here we go, a Splatoon Pro controller with a built in yep. in the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking that voice chat be, too. That would be awesome, dude. That would be awesome. <laughs> Somehow that's and more likely. I can, actually, I can't decide if that's more or less likely. To be <laughs> honest, with my nuts idea. And I think, I think this is this is what what gets to your to your point of earlier. Like all the predictions that came in yep. is Nintendo is so out there. Yep, they could do anything. Mm-hmm. And Microsoft and Sony are so like cookie cutter and like business, and that's all it is. And they're just straight and narrow that they don't do crazy stuff. So when Nintendo it just opens up the possibility to like, it could be anything. And like everything you're saying is ludicrous and crazy, but it could very well happen. Somehow in the realm of possibility. Yeah, it's nuts. So So you're four as well? You're going to break your, 
You're yeah, let's done. go for it. Let's okay, go man. It. That is hilarious. That is the first round of predictions, guys. We're off to a great start. We're going to jump into <laughs> people who provided amazing. I got to give a special shout, special shout out to Ribo. He like provided essays, man. Like It, it all kind of like wow. crams into the spreadsheet and everything. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time with Ribo here. Um, one thing, he agrees with the Fortnite thing. He says, Fortnite finally leads the slim list of new major third-party announcements. He also says, Capcom revives Zack and Wiki from the Wii and all new sequel as well as Resident Evil Revelations 3. But this is all in one answer, by the way. He's like, there are five predictions. This is all in one. Um, ben and Namco shows Ridge Racer 8 and a Tales of something game, new Tales game. I'm not even going to try and guess the random word they're using in the title. Ribo, you are incredible, man. I want to give you a special <laughs> yeah, you gift know, or something I, to use at this moment. I totally <laughs> forgot that Ridge Racer is an exclusive to the Switch. That's nuts. And, like, and it's going to potentially be their, you know, their, their big game, you know, their, their Gran Turismo and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Like, I'm excited for that. Like, I really hope they do a great job with that. Yeah, a lot of people, Matt Knight, a lot of these guys are agreeing with the Animal Crossing. Thomas King used two of his five predictions on Pokemon, so that is awesome. <laughs> Jared Gauthier says, Yoshi will be out in August. Fire Emblem will be out in December. Dude, I forgot yeah. about Fire Emblem. I'm going to leave That's it at that, actually. Uh, I don't know if and it's And Fire Emblem it. is announced for 2018. Like, that was said. This is yeah. a 2018 game. That actually gets me so. really excited, man. Out of everything, mm-hmm. honestly, I yeah. think that, that genuine reaction was like, woo. Yeah. You know, if I had to guess, I think that Fire Emblem probably is going to be released around the time that Xenoblade was. Kind of like an end of the year. December kind of Doesn't thing. Doesn't quite make the cut, yeah. I hope not, honestly. I can't remember when, like, because Fates was a springtime game. I want to say that that was, like, March or April or something, maybe even June. Um, and that was, like, perfect for me just to, to jump in. That was one of my first ones. And so, I am i don't know. I want it sooner rather than later, I guess, is kind of what I'm saying there. So, with that said, Joseph, high trophy room. Let's uh, move on to prediction number two, Bobby the Guru. What do you got, man? Um, so this is one that I think is kind of out there, but I think it's very possible of happening. Um, I believe that we get a top-down Zelda game yep. that will launch on the Switch as well as the 3DS. Mm-hmm. And I believe that it gets announced um, and also will be released I think it's either going to be, I would say, anywhere from November to February in that window. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's like a I'll allow fourth it. quarter thing, you know. I mean, but I think it's that. I think it's that, that's the window that it'll launch in. But I think we definitely get a top-down Zelda 3DS Switch together. You could buy it on either. Um, I, I really think it's going to be happening. Hmm. What do you think, Pat? Uh, I think he's half crazy, yeah, I, but I, I, I think <laughs> I honestly do think that it's just going to uh, release for the 3DS. I think mm-hmm. that this might be a I'm hoping that they continue the trend of, you know, release or announcing these 3DS games in the treehouse. I think that's pretty appropriate. It gives it gives people incentive to watch. But at the same time, it's like, OK, you know, all the switch announcements are done. Uh, I was talking to Game Over Jesse and he was saying how there has been a bunch of interviews on how this they're making a another game possibly for the 3ds so yeah i i don't think you're crazy at all i mm-hmm. probably like a two i'll give you two yeah i'm gonna go ahead and give you a two as well and now i've got to scramble and get a, a new fifth prediction because that was my last one i actually specified that it was <laughs> going to be a link between worlds 2 only on 3ds and the reason i do that is because there's going to be something that is going to be so conflicting for nintendo fans of like yes this is exactly what i want but like f you nintendo that's not where i yeah. want it like i want this yeah. to obviously be on switch But I think that they're going to have something, if not even just a a Zelda game, I think they're going to have something that really hardcore demonstrates that that the 3DS is alive and well. And what better way than to to throw another top-down Zelda? I'm with you, I just think that if they came with a top-down Zelda, right? Because I I think back to, like, when when I was a kid and I played Zelda on the NES, right? The original on the NES. Mm -hmm. When it came to the Super Nintendo, it was such a leaps and bounds between the two. And everybody was excited. And Link to the Past, honestly, was one of my all-time favorites until Breath of the Wild hit this last year. And now it's like neck and neck between the two. So I just think that if you took another top down and then threw it on HD and, like, made it, like, really crisp and awesome, like, people would lose their collective minds, man. Mm -hmm. It would be nuts. If it does go strictly to 3DS, I think you upset a lot of people. Like you said, I think people are going to be like, I want this, just this isn't where I want to play. I don't want to open my 3DS again, and you're going to go through all that again. So we'll Yeah, because like basically what we've been getting is 
games on 3ds but not necessarily things that are like amazing like i don't know yeah. that necessarily like there, there's definitely an indication that they're still supporting it in a yeah. somewhat medium to big way but uh, if mm-hmm. they came around with something like this and i don't know it changes the narrative a little bit i also think that i also think that they look at the sales from metroid and and look at it and go well this thing didn't do as good as we thought it was going to do do we just throw it on both platforms so this way we're kind of feeding the 3ds crowd but also we make the switch the, the switch crowd happy i think and the other thing that makes me think that it could potentially happen is the success of blossom tales that game took yeah. off because of that whole model so i think that that is going to get people really super excited to go so that's we'll the see. part of it that i just don't really understand is the exclusivity to, to games on 3ds but anyway yeah. i won't i won't belabor that too much longer uh patrick what is your second prediction man so i don't know if you just said thomas predicted pokemon mm-hmm. twice yep uh, sorry, bro. Uh, I I don't think that we see Pokemon at all at E3. Wow. I don't think we see anything. A trailer. Pokemon, for starters, is is a weird company. They they're with Nintendo, but they're not really, and it's just a weird situation. Um, I don't know, man. Last last E3, I just wasn't convinced, and when they announced Pokemon coming in 2018, it was just kind of like <laughs> felt like a last minute thing. Like at least with Metroid Prime Four. Like someone did a little they, bit of They drew up a JPEG, yeah. <laughs> Way more effort. I think that's but what he was doing know. at that desk. So I think he was he was busy drawing the logo, which of course would look yeah. the same as every other Pokemon look. <laughs> but the weird thing is, I do think that Pokemon will come out this year. I just don't think we'll, we'll see it at E3. Man, I feel like that's bold. I feel, I feel like it definitely is. If it exists, it will be there. So I actually, it's sort of a double negative. I disagree with your not going mm-hmm. to happen but bobby what do you think is that even does that do I think, anything for them to not be there well here's the thing pokemon typically is not in the main press conference or the main as we'll call the the, the main video presentation yeah. Yeah. um the one year right they were going like we're just going to do zelda this whole time right so they did the trailer for zelda and then they switched to an hour of gameplay footage of i think x and y at the time or sun and moon at the time yeah they tricked us um, all i hated that yeah so <laughs> the thing of it is is like so that was done but it wasn't done in the presentation format mm-hmm. last year they didn't show anything it was just a guy sitting at the desk talking about it i think it'll show up during the treehouse um at some point they'll mm. show some footage of it or something like that but i don't feel like it shows up in the main press conference because like Patrick says, Pokemon kind of marches to the be their own drum. Although I think Nintendo has been desperate the past couple of years. That's why they've pulled it in. They're not desperate anymore. So they really don't need Pokemon to be a part of the presentation. That's so I think, nuts to even say they yeah, don't need Pokemon. I think that, that's crazy. You're not even that wrong. Well, they it. need, don't get me wrong. They need Pokemon, but they no, don't need Pokemon in their, in their yeah. announcement thing. And I think it's something that they could just be like, yeah, we have it. I do think it gets announced once this year. Mm-hmm. I think it's the 3DS style graphics and everything. I don't think it's going to be what people are expecting out of Pokemon. Ooh. I don't think it's the revolutionary Pokemon that people are expecting. I think it's more or less like basically like X and Y and Sun and Moon, you know, just a new generation. But then when the final one, it gets made strictly from the start, scratch, ground up for the Switch, that's the one that's going to be the one people want. So I think you got to skip a and I've been saying that for a long time. Like, we, we, Pat knows. Like, me and Joe yeah. would say it all the time on, there, on Planet Nintendo. There's this weird thing where people are like, oh, Pokemon needs this Breath of the Wild transformation. Yeah. I, I couldn't agree. I couldn't disagree more because yeah. look at the sales of every single Pokemon game. And I, I really think that the 3DS is still alive for that one franchise alone. So, yeah. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't, exactly. I don't think it needs this big open world type thing so no if you to me if you just up the graphics a little bit like make them crisper like you can keep that cartoony style but you put it in hd format yeah the home run all day yeah. long and they've kind of left the 3d behind the past couple iterations of mm-hmm. pokemon anyway so i think we start to move away from the 3ds and, and it basically keeps the same art style and everything and i think we'll moving forward it'll start to change the, the way people wanted to that is so fun i'm like nodding along with everything you guys are saying like i'm I'm totally agreeing everything absolutely makes sense i still think they're going to be there um so i'm disagreeing (laughs) with this i also think you mentioned uh pokemon beats uh marches to the beat of their own drum obviously nintendo uh, marches to the beat of their own drum i'm just imagining their two like drummer boys just like these weird ass (laughs) beats and just like boop 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 and it's just actually sort of sounded like mario a little bit um 
I'm getting. I actually think that they are going to be there, so I'm going to. I'm going to take my points down a little bit. I'm giving you a two. Um, or I'm sorry. I'm going to give you a four. Um, Bobby, what is your what is your score for this one? You think you think it's likely that he's going to be right? Um. Well, it depends on what we're talking about. Like we're we're gonna talking about. It, mm. So actually, yeah. Do you want to specify? The, yeah. The, are I we talking about from the, the minute Nintendo announces until the end of the week? Or are we talking about during the presentation? I think the the presentation, the the thirty or forty minute, whatever they show us. I think it might be at E three like weekend. Yeah. But I don't I don't know if it's going to be like in the scheduled presentation. Yeah, and, and if that's the case, then I would say probably like a two or three. Yeah. Um, that he's right in that in that aspect. I don't think they show off any gameplay footage at the digital event, it's not going to happen. I don't think we see it at all. So I kind of think that it's an, a, you know, an easy prediction. I like I this one. What, I like this what, one because I Thomas disagree. Is saying, this is awesome. Yeah, what Thomas <laughs> is saying is, you know, more likely because it'll show up during. But if he's saying it's going to show up during the digital event, I don't think it shows up at the digital event at all. Yeah. In history, Pokemon gameplay footage Pokemon itself, other than last year, last year was the first year ever that it actually showed during a digital event or a stage presence. Mm -hmm. They stay away. So, again, and last year and the year before, Nintendo needed Pokemon because they had nothing to show. But they need to so say think, something. You're right. Like yeah. Everybody was wondering when is this. Of course there's going to be a Pokemon coming at some point. So for them to acknowledge it, as well as Metroid was big for them last year. Quickly into um, a couple of people have brought Pokemon up when in their predictions. Mr. Moody said a trailer will show up. So I think that he's speaking specifically about that presentation. Yeah. Toby says mm -hmm. Pokemon is on Switch and on 3DS and the graphics are disappointing. It's kind of what I was saying. Caro, the Nintendo Pokemon RPG, the next two game group for Switch, of course, and uh, Ribo. It's in here somewhere. It's uh, he's got because I just did a quick find Pokemon and highlighter bunch, and then there's <laughs> Ribo's giant essay. So let me get to this. He says Fire Emblem finally gets a release date, and Pokemon is on the show floor, but not in the video. So he's with you, man. I'm yeah, not surprised okay. that you guys are and, and Ribo are on the same page on this one. So. <laughs> yeah. I like this. I oh gosh, you guys, I don't know about you guys. I'm having a great time. Uh, my <laughs> prediction for the second one, if you can believe it or not, we're only on the second one. Um, I believe that they to get to that 20 million. I think a way for them to do it is to offer a separate SKU. I think there's going to be a way, especially with Pokemon on the way, just <laughs> the Switch. There's going to be a dockless Switch, and it will be available for fifty dollars less. Because I think you buy this the the dock on its own for what, like sixty five bucks or seventy bucks or something in the states. No, it's like eighty nine. Eighty nine. Yeah, yeah, so and that, that's sort of the way that it works. Is like when things are bundled in, the, the value of them is worth less. But when you buy them on their own, that I, to me that that yeah. ratio kind of makes sense. But like Patrick, do you think that they are at all incentivized to remove the dock? I remember for years and years and years we we're talking about the Wii U just get rid of the gamepad. But I don't know necessarily are these two locked in together as much as the Wii U console was no. with the gamepad. I mean, like I was a big dock player for the longest time. I haven't put my Switch in the dock for about a month. Mm -hmm. Which is really weird for me. I'm not really a handheld gamer. Um, I'm kind of with you on that, but I could also see the other way. Yep. They just announced that, uh, what is it, Wolfenstein is like 22 gigs for, to, to put it on there. Mm -hmm. So, like, I feel like you're going to get more third-party games, but at the same time, it's like, how do I put them on my console? So, I could see it either way. Um, if they just, like, announced a handheld, I could even see, like, a $200 price, but maybe the, the big selling point or one of the selling points is, like, exclusive joy cons which i would kind of hate oh. to see but of, yeah of course they would do that yeah <laughs> see, i think i think they don't for me i don't want them to leave the dock behind i want them to take it a step further and actually design the dock to be special mm -hmm. to have yeah. like pikachu's face on the dock you know what i mean or you know whatever it may be like i feel like that would be special the mario one the only the reason i didn't buy it was i didn't want the joy cons yeah like i don't want to pay the same price just for joy cons yeah i love animal crossing you know what i mean like i've said it before but if they put an animal crossing special edition and it's just joy cons i'm not gonna buy it like i'm not spending that money the dock and all the thing that goes all the bells and whistles that go with it absolutely i want a different color back face plate all that stuff like i really want them to make it special mm -hmm. if it's just joy cons i want nothing to do with it and yeah, i'm with you so i feel like it's one of two things. Either you do it upright, you do the dock, you do everything, and then I would say like they could actually charge full price, three hundred dollar retail, maybe go three twenty, three forty because you pack the game in with it. Yeah. You know whatever it might be. Um, but I think that 
they would not eliminate the doc. I like what you're thinking. I like where your mind is going with it, because um, then it's a no-brainer. Everybody that already owns one jumps right on board. That's the thing. It's, it's for multi yeah. multi switch families kind of yeah. thing. You've got your one dock and, and for the one TV. Yeah. You don't need multiple docks because there's only so many yeah. TVs in the house. But you got a whole bunch of kids yeah. sharing their their switches and stuff. Yeah. And just yeah, but but it also sort of goes in the face of what where I was saying before about and what we've been talking about, which is um, 3ds being such a focus for them. Like that's the yeah. solution for their kids in the yeah. family. Like they've actually kind of yeah. talked about how the switch is, is too expensive to expect families to buy more than one. So, but that's why I want to drop the price because I think they acknowledge yeah, that and there's got to be a way to do that. That's an answer directly to what they said yeah. this week. Like what you're saying is an answer directly to it. Like, Hey man, just sell a family switch, a family edition switch that maybe it doesn't even come with a power cord. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, man. I don't know. Like maybe it's just the switch and joy cons and that's it. And then, you know what? Like, Timmy and Tommy, they bar they 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 let each other use their their charger or whatever it might be. Mm-hmm. Or you could buy a charger for ten bucks. You know, I mean, like it's not that expensive. I think that's the way to go. And, and then you and, get it where, you know, like you said, you're not going to put two in the docks. You're not. You, you have one TV. It's pointless to have two docks. So well, unless you I, find I a special I, lady I, I, and she lets you put two TVs on the wall, and then they, or you're both playing together. <laughs> um, so mm-hmm. go ahead. Let's uh, let's get some let's scores on this, Bobby. What do you think? One to five. Um, I think you're, I think you're, I think you're probably a four on that yeah. one. Yeah, unlikely. Patrick? Yeah. Yeah, I would say four. I mean, I like the idea, but I just think that this is going to be like all software based. I would say yeah. four. Yeah, that's a That's a good point, actually. They don't really talk too much other than that. I was thinking about your Pokemon or your Pikachu thing. It would be kind of nice for the face of it to be all cute and everything, and then the inside to be fuzzy mm-hmm. so you can't scratch <laughs> your screen. You kind of like that nice, but then Bobby's going to be think, touching that See, all see and one thing I will say to, to Patrick is I, I disagree with so, – they won't go like, this is the this is the Pokemon Switch. Blah, blah, blah. They've done – like they did it with, with Metroid last year. With the, with the Metroid 3DS, like they showed it off, and then they were like, "Oh, by the way, it was just a picture of it at the end." Like I could totally see them oh, doing good that. Good point. If Pokemon is in the trailer, like I could see them showing the game, and then at the end of the trailer, like boop, and then them going like, "And the new Pokemon Switch comes, you know, along. It's going to launch alongside the game, and this and that and the other exclusive like, Amiibo." I could totally too. see that happening. Oh, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. We'll get to that in a second. We'll we'll address a couple more. Uh, uh, Matt Knight, he, he's definitely calling for a Smash Brothers uh, release date. He's asking for a new IP announced for 2019. I think would be amazing. We haven't got to oh. Pikmin 4, so I'll be curious to see if uh, you guys touch on that a little bit. Um, Thanos, of course, his last two predictions were uh, Labo Expletive and Labo Expletive 2. Um, Toby Thornton. Hi, Toby. Metroid will have a 45-second teaser trailer and will feature voice acting from Samus. People will be unsure if it's actual gameplay, and then he confirms that it is not. I freaking love Toby. <laughs> Toby is so good. Uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, Toby was messaging me, right? Toby's giving me his prediction. I'm like, dude, stop. I'm like, you're giving me predictions, and I'm about to do a prediction show with Sean, and you're painting my, my pool here. Stop. I don't want to know nothing. So, you know, I'll tell you afterwards. Yeah, Toby, like, don't, better, don't taint Bobby's pool. Jared Goche yeah, finishes yeah. his off with, uh, for the love of God, reveal Mario 3D World sequel. I'm with you, man. Ooh. I like those games. Land yeah, and World, I like, I like those, those games, games more than more than most. Uh, but, of course, yeah. we like it. Like, we had Wii U's. We, we yeah. knew what was up. <laughs> um, guys, round three is starting. I've got a ridiculous one coming, but we're going to start Bobby. Let's let's go. Well, with my question is this: Are we going three rounds or five? What do you, how do you guys feel? What are we at? Like we're about. I don't know. We're about forty at? minutes. We're okay. We're doing, yeah, we're. You want to go five? I mean, I would like to do five. Let's Maybe do five. Do five. Okay. Hey, man, <laughs> five. Five. we're here. We're ki- we're chilling. My wife's in the <laughs> okay. Gina, okay. man, or Regina. Okay. I can't remember which one it's called. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna go a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy. Okay, here Not we too go. Crazy. Um, this is actually gonna be an easy one, honestly. Uh, Pikmin four gets announced. Yep. Uh, Pikmin 4, Pikmin, it's going to be called Pikmin World, um, and it gets launched this year. I think it's going to launch October in that area, mm-hmm. um, and I think it comes with – it's going to also have an Amiibo with it in the, in the bundle. Yep. Um, I think it, without, a, without a shadow of a doubt, we get some type of cool-looking Amiibo plus the game, and there it is. So, it, so basically I'm predicting an Amiibo, the game – you can even throw the name of the game in there if you want it's to pick the world, yep. and also that it launches October. So that would be it's a little bit of a strict 
prediction, but that's what I think. I like it a lot, and, and I'm trying to rack my brain. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, because you have, of course, Nintendo in your names. You'd know this better than me. But <laughs> in the Wii U days, there was a ton of games, or even like with 3DS, with um, uh, the Mega Man collection. A lot of games packed in with an Amiibo. Yoshi was yes. one. We had a ton of those things. Yep. Switch? Chibi I, Robo. Chibi Robo, of course. I mean, why? that's 90% of the reason people own that game is because of that yeah. sweet Amiibo. That thing is awesome. Yeah. Hasn't happened on Switch yet. No. So they've pretty much walked away from Amiibo, like, in that sense, ever since, for a year, really, and from a really dedicated place for the Switch. Um, I like this call-out because I would like to see a return to Amiibo. I'll get to that in a second. But, uh, Patrick, what do you think about this, man? Pikmin, October, Amiibo, what do you think? Uh, I think I'm going to give out my first one. I think that this is really, really uh, likely. I'm surprised that it wasn't shown instead of, like, Yoshi last year. Um I this needs to come out, man. Pikmin is such a great franchise. If Pikmin three, whatever deluxe comes out, I would be really disappointed. But yeah, Ooh, I, I think this call. is almost deluxe. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned that because I was trying to think like, why am I not completely convinced? Because I agree that this this is necessary. It's a it's an absolutely necessary game for that. But we are seeing this tremendous trend of all the great games from the Wii U being brought <coughs> over, and not really like it's actually kind of working for them. And Pikmin 3 is awesome. So maybe there's like this weird kind of like pair of announcements of like four is coming. And in the meantime, here's three. I don't know. Um, but definitely I something. Doing, I can see them doing one, two, and three. That'd be as awesome. A bundle collection. That'd be nice. um, the one thing I want to say, though, is I think my score is a little low there. Yeah, one, one. one is a little, especially he's got. Well, I got like, wait, one's the best, isn't it? No, no, no. One, one, one you think it's very going to, it's definitely going to happen. It's going to yeah, be a small You think one's definitely going to happen. But what I'm saying is, because what the thing of it is, Pat, is I'm saying four things are going to happen. So oh, the entire that, thing. I'm saying oh. the entire thing is a pat, like the date, the name, the amiibo, and the game gets announced. Okay. Uh, well, so, Bobby isn't Bobby isn't that good. I I would say, <laughs> I would say maybe like a maybe like a two. I would still say two, man. I think all that's very likely. And uh, the amiibo thing, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. But yeah, I would, the name sounds good. Yeah, Pikmin World. I yeah, I like this world. So ever since Super Mario World, it always like sort of indicated this is this is the best one. I don't know. It's just take, especially like land to world from Game Boy to yeah. world and everything like that. I dig it, man. I love I love Pikmin. I know Chelsea would be totally stoked about that. And it's the one weird relationship I have with the sound effect. I don't know about you guys, but the whistle. Yeah. I have this strange like yeah. it should <laughs> annoy me and it should like rattle my bones. I love but it. But it's just so endearing and it makes me think of Chelsea spending four or five hours sitting in front of the TV playing Pikmin. And that's all I ever <laughs> want for her. So uh, that's awesome, dude. Love some Pikmin. Uh, Patrick, number number Trace. Is that a real oh, number? Yeah. I don't know. So I don't know if this is more so a prediction or something that I think should happen, but yep. I think that they do a Metroid Prime Collection HD for the Switch. I think that this is a franchise that a lot of people got excited about. Me and Metroid fans, we don't we don't get along. They don't they don't buy their games. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> but I think this is a franchise that people need to be almost introduced to. Uh, you know, you got to think back. It's a, it's a GameCube and Wii franchise. Mm-hmm. In the last couple of games, I mean, the Wii was kind of irrelevant towards towards three. Uh, so I think that you put an HD collection, get people buying this game, maybe even go crazy with like a steel book like they did on the Wii, Ooh. Um, and just reintroduce this franchise because I don't think Prime Four is close. I think it's like at the earliest, like mm-hmm. fall twenty nineteen. Yeah. Yep, I agree. So I agree. Put it out, man. It'll so kind of like tied everybody over a little bit and don't give us any more of these blast ball or whatever the hell we had with uh, on the yeah. 3DS. Uh, I think we might get an announcement, but it's going to be similar to kind of like Bayonetta 3 and Bayonetta 2. And mm-hmm. Like I think we're, we'll get something, but not what people want. I think you're right. I think it's going to be very similar. Like I, I, I kind of agree with what Toby said. I think we'll get like a 45-second trailer, but then I think they follow up the end of the trailer with, oh, by the way, you can get this, what you're saying, this collection – they don't need to show anything off about it. They don't need to show footage or nothing. They're just like, hey, you're going to get this collection. It'll mm-hmm. launch this date. Done. Go. I, I, I can see that happening. Yeah. Sure. A lot of people are actually agreeing with this. Specifically, Matt Knight specifically said uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy HD for Switch. So that he said that's his long shot prediction. Um, yeah. Mark Moody, trailer for Metroid 4. Thomas King simply says Metroid. Um 
Ribo somewhere in his three thousand dissertation <laughs> mentioned mentioned that. Um, <laughs> Caro isn't so sure. She says maybe Metroid Prime Four stuff. Uh, of course, we talked about Toby as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that that pretty much does it, guys. That is, I'm stoked about it. I feel like it's the right move, and for some reason, sometimes when I say that about Nintendo, it's like that'll probably never happen. Like that's yeah. absolutely a logical thing for for anybody else would do it. But I'm not sure I'm seeing like too much indication of them up resing um, pre HD. Like a lot of like yeah. like it takes it, it takes a lot of yeah, work. I think it takes, and that's sort of why we're seeing GameCube stuff going where it's going which is 3ds yeah. we're seeing some more stuff that's more ready to be hd like the wii u stuff actually come up to the switch so for that reason I, i'm gonna up your degree of difficulty on that one i'm actually gonna get, go ahead and give you a four i'm not sure i want it to happen i think if it yeah. does then we all win you get points everybody gets yeah. the game i was gonna say i was gonna say three but yeah i, I think it's it's gonna be tough to happen definitely yeah. because it's because it's you know why because it's a no-brainer slam dunk exactly and nintendo so don't never happen so but we did say that about the hybrid console, so that's why, like, I mean, so it could go either way. We, we thought there's no way it makes mm. most sense for them to do a hybrid thing. They'll never, yeah. never do it, and the Switch is the best thing in, in ever. I agree. So with that said, hi, Joseph, I am going to just, because I don't want to do, like, a single, like, this game is going to be announced. I don't want to do that. I want to... I want to amp it up a little bit. I'm going to talk about some games that we've played in other places and just cram them all into one. I'm going to go one, two, three. How many? There's four games here. All coming in 2018. Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE, Diablo 3, Fortnite, and The Sims 4 are all coming to the Switch in 2018. And I think that that would be bonkers, dude. Everybody loves those. Yeah. Except for Tokyo Mirage Sessions, nobody gives a shit about. Everything yeah, but, else are kind of big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First I, for me. I, you know what, man? I could see three out of the four coming. I don't think Tokyo Mirage Sessions happens. Oh, but, break my heart, but, Bobby. I, I, listen, I would lo- I'm with you, man. I love that game. You know what I mean? I just would love to get that game. I, that game was a great game, man. Never played it. I would love to see that game come. Um, just if it happens, it's a little different ball game. Um, <laughs> but it yeah, man, my heart. I, I'm holding I, cartridge for anybody listening. I'm just like, hold, like it's just, it's just so good. And Persona is, is locked onto PlayStation. Nintendo fans have got to play this style of game, man. That it is, is so, so much fun. good. Mm-hmm. It was so good, man. I loved it. I love my time with it. You and I were playing at the same time. We were constantly going back and forth talking about how good it was. It's all in Japanese. I, it's so crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I loved it. I loved it, man. And I, it was so good. And I loved how they did the mirages and all that stuff. Like, as a Fire Emblem fan, as a role-playing game fan, like, that game was spot on. Mm-hmm. So good. The music was fantastic. Like, everything about it was really good. It's so fun. Um, but, like, I look at the other games you're listing, and I'm saying, like, there, there's a... I feel real strong with that stuff, especially Sims, yeah, um, Diablo, Fortnite. Like I think that those can definitely happen. So I, I, yeah, I would, I would. Uh, are you saying all four will happen? Yep. All uh, in twenty eighteen. I would probably, I would probably give you a three. Okay, that's the case. That's fair. Um, you know, because it, you're you're having a multitude of things happening. So mm-hmm. partial we'll points see. count, by the way. That's what I was just yep. say. If it's a three, so if I get like one third, then yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody will take care of the well, you Pat? What do you think? Uh, about? Yeah, I, same same three. Yeah. Sorry, oh, sorry, Tokyo. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably give you like a three point two seven. Sure. That. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. Uh, Let me just add that in there. Three point two seven. Sims Got would it. be awesome, man. I I used to play Sims a ton, yeah. and I think the Switch would be a great console for it. Fortnite, Absolutely. yeah, we've already. Uh, Diablo, yeah. I think it's pretty safe. I, yeah, three point two seven five. To me, I just want to quickly touch on. Like, I think the Sims out of all of those is probably the most interesting, just because. EA led and did, like dipped their toes into the waters of, of the Switch with FIFA, and I just like, yes, that makes sort of sense, but I feel like yeah. The Sims makes way more. I feel Absolutely. like Nintendo audiences Absolutely. are like, are they're farmers. We play Animal Crossing mm-hmm. and Harvest Moon, and we like to take care of micromanage and stuff like that, and The Sims mm-hmm. should have been their true test. Yeah. Yeah. Like they shouldn't Absolutely. really, they should, they wouldn't have hit the the technological wall that they hit. I think with FIFA, and there never would have been this thing. Like we got the PS3 version, which was false. So yeah, I, yeah. I hope, I hope it for a number of reasons. I think they'll find success, but I, th- I hope that it opens EA's eyes to the power yeah. of the Switch and the audience and the people who are there buying games. I agree. So I'm gonna jump really quickly. Brad Kaboski says he wants Mario Odyssey DLC. Um, he's gonna, he thinks rabbits are coming to Smash. Also, Tim Alf. Hi, Tim. 
Nintendo okay. announces partnership with Microsoft for more cross-play games. Crazy call. Mm. I don't think you're that crazy, man. I definitely think yeah. we're going to see that. Nintendo shows off EA sports and racing games built specifically for Switch, like Madden and Need for Speed. So that's sort of like the other end of it. Of I think that's I think that's maybe another couple of years out. I think they need to get a bit of a more of a foothold. You know what Switch. I would like to see? I would love to see Microsoft buy out EA. Because then I think we see Madden, all these games hit the Switch. No brainer about it. Like yeah, like I think you would see all that stuff to start to hit the Switch. And I feel like you know, I know there's been rumors about it that that Microsoft is going to make a play for them, or they they've been making a play for them. Mm-hmm. That would be huge to see happen. Because mm-hmm. I feel like when when Microsoft bought Minecraft, everybody thought it was the end of the world. They really did. And I think what Microsoft has done with Minecraft has been admirable and like really spot on perfect. I would love to see them start to do this thing with Nintendo where they go like, hey, man, this is available on PC and the Switch, but I just don't see them taking their their big franchises and doing stuff like that. So this, to me, like if they bought out EA and then continued to put EA games on PC, on Sony, on Nintendo, it would be mind-numbing. Like, Mm. it would be huge. Because I don't feel like EA is totally bought on Nintendo, I think their their test was BS. Yep. Um, and and I think that fail. we could definitely, yeah, it was a, definitely a set to fail. So mm-hmm. I, I think we could see something. Yeah, man. Well, why don't you keep rolling on, Bobby? You're, you got okay, a bit of so, a groove. Why don't you keep going to your next prediction? So I have, I have one that I think is going to happen because I think everybody thought it was going to happen before and it didn't happen, and they were like, "What the hell happened here?" Ubisoft will announce Stick of Truth is coming to the Switch, and you could buy Amiibo for all four of the boys. And I think it would be (laughs) huge. (laughs) Huge. Because everybody looked at this and goes like, okay, Fractured Behold is coming, but where's Stick of Truth? And it didn't happen. And I think if Fractured Behold sold well, that's the the tale. If if it had good numbers, I know Yubi is sold because of rabbits, and that did amazing things. But then they, they kind of went in a different direction with Stick of Truth, where, I mean, with Fracture of a Hole. So I think that they could bring it back around, go, here's Stick of Truth, and, by the way, here's Amiibo. Because then it would make people go, like, all right, now it's willing for me to, like, buy and spend the money for. And I don't know that all four would come packed in the game. Maybe one comes packed in and then you can buy the other three. You're saying or that this is going to be in E3. Yes. Stick of Truth. Whether, I don't know. I'm not saying it'll be in Nintendo. Oh, okay. But it'll be announced throughout the week. Like I think it'll be in Ubisoft's okay. presentation, and maybe you'll see like a little footage of it, like they did last year with Mario Rabbids. They did a yeah. big thing on their on their stage, and then we saw it a little bit on on the Nintendo side. So I think that's kind of what you'll see happen. Um, but I think it gets announced. I think Stick of Truth comes to the Switch. Hmm. I'm gonna give you a five, man. Yeah. I can win it all with this one prediction. I can win it all with the one prediction. Come on, Yubi. Make yeah, proud. I think that the uh, I think that the <laughs> amiibos are are very unlikely. I, I think that they put out the fracture but hole, and I think that that's kind of their way of going at it. I think if they were going to do the stick of truth, that would have been the first game that they put out. Um, I know it's kind of like a newer game and stuff, but yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't see it. Yeah, I, but I I have to pit, do a bit of a position play here, guys, because uh, I don't. I, you're gonna get you're gonna get partial points for that stick of truth. So I I also think this is very unlikely, but I don't think that you deserve 0. 0.5 times 10. So I'm gonna back it off to a three, but only so that you end up with an eight here. Son of a gun! What are you doing? You're I'm playing the game. Me, playing the game. That's, yeah, you're know. playing BS game. That's what you're playing. <laughs> I don't want you to get too many points for that, especially that amiibo. Well, the amiibo thing is never gonna happen, but well, then I get partial points. I would get. Yeah, you get. It's a yeah. five. I get. I think the I think the first part is no brainer. I think Stick of Truth is absolutely coming. Yeah, I, like that to me is like a, a one. Two point five score to a one. How about I give you what? Do I, what? Do I, okay, hang on. That's let me let me back this up here. Uh, a three. <laughs> you're right. Uh, I'll back you. Apparently, two, there's a game going. Two point five. Two point five. <laughs> How about that? So you get a seven point five. Keep talking, Bobby. Uh, Patrick, what's your next prediction? <laughs> okay, my next prediction is. From the the footage and the time that they cover Smash, I think we are going to see three new characters for the new Smash Brothers. I think even just like casually, like as they're showing like footage of the game 
and maybe during like the treehouse and stuff. And I will do one character prediction. I'm rooting for my man, Captain Toad. So oh, three nice. characters <laughs> and Captain Toad. <laughs> Here's the best cool. part about Captain Toad is when you just, you knock him off the platform or whatever, he can't jump. So he just falls every <laughs> single time. <laughs> that is the worst character. I to know. Even want. <laughs> Toad for Smash. Only man. you. You are all about the weak, horrible characters in your Captain life. Captain Toad is top three games on the Wii U. Oh my oh, god. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> you are sick. With Star Fox. That's why you and Jams get, get along yeah, so well. Star Fox. Okay, that's why you guys get along because you like crap games. Mm. That's so like, funny. I don't, okay, let me, let me back that off. Captain Toad is a great game. Not the top three or mm-hmm. whatever. Like, it's not that great. Like, you. it's 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 a very solid, fun game. All right, so three three Smash characters. I'll go with that. Okay, okay. I think it's pretty you likely. Think gonna get, you think we're going to announce three Smash characters? I think at see, least I think, two will see, be I have shown. a feeling. I have a feeling that what they're going to do is they're going to do something very similar to what they've done with Splatoon, what they've done with Arms, and what Street Fighter did with Street Fighter Five. Where here's twelve fighters. It's very basic. It's missing a lot of stuff. And then, oh, by the way, as part of this online deal, if you pay the twenty dollars a year. We're going to give you a free DLC character every month or every other month. So I feel like them coming out and going, here's three characters, it's kind of hit or miss because they, they might do that and they might go, these are the first three in this online package. I feel like that picture, that image they showed, even though it was silhouettes and stuff, it was very missing a lot of characters compared to Smash 4. Smash 4 had, what, 50 characters in yeah. it or something? Yeah. Um, I feel like that would be something where you look at it and you go, like, there's only, like, 12, might be the original 12, and then they're going to take time, like, announcing one after the other at the other. It's going to be different. I think they're taking a very different play with, with Smash 5 um, than what they have in the past. Because I can't see them going, like, here's 50 characters, here's 12. And I can't see them going, like, well, here's 20 or 30 in this one. So I... I I kind of I'm, agree with you, but I don't agree, and it's it's kind of hard because I think there's different avenues. I'm kind of comparing it to like you remember when they first showed Mario Kart mm-hmm. and they showed the kids in the car playing, and you're like, wait, was that Boo? Something like yes. that. Where you okay, see, like, okay, I got you. Yeah, okay, that's I a great you. comparison, yes. man. That that's like took me back. Yeah, like, like I love yeah. that quick little breakdown. <laughs> well, that's yeah. kind of what has already happened. Like that little the silhouettes and everything. Everybody's like, oh, what's what is that? I, I love that yeah, little tease. Yeah. Um, some people. Totally. Uh, by the way, I want to I want to briefly touch on Bobby. Exactly what you just described is uh, it makes sense because now you're just getting on board the Nintendo hype train. You are the engineer of the Nintendo hype train, so you just gotta <laughs> get that thing going, man. Bring it up to speed. Um, yes. Totally opposite end of that is Mark Moody says the full roster is going to be revealed. So that's another wow. interesting take. Um, it's possible. Carol obviously says uh, Smash. Ribo Smash gets a lengthy portion of the digital event direct slash whatever it's called. No matter how much has changed, angry people still call it a port of Smash Wii U. Crash Bandicoot joins a Microsoft-owned character. Perhaps Banjo is the first two new roster mm-hmm. reveals. I'm, I'm stoked about this. I, I think this Smash is going to get a ton of attention. Everybody's just waiting to see. Probably Ribo's like, right, that um, as many people are going to be happy about X, Y, and Z. Oh, they're gonna, Twice as many people are going to be upset about A, B, and C. So who the hell knows yeah. about this stuff? They're going to milk those character reveals, though. They're not yeah, going to they throw them all out. Before yeah, I forget, Bobby, uh, go ahead and give this a score. Three new Smash characters. One of them is going to be Captain Toad. <laughs> <laughs> well, he threw the Captain Toad one in there to get a high rank. I know, right? <laughs> um, I would say a three. I would say a three. Yeah. I don't see Captain Toad happening at all, but I think th- I think the three characters definitely are going to get like a, especially the way he explained the reveal that mm-hmm. it'll just they're showing smash and it'll be like oh my god there's you know shovel knight or there's you know whoever and i think people are going to get hyped up about it all. yeah I, and i'm on two ends of this i i can't see them spending too much time going like and this character and this character and this character three does feel yeah. right like i can't see yeah. them like really kind of because they have to make a big deal out of the new ones that's the thing they have to yeah. be like it yeah. can't be just like a silhouette it does have to be and yeah. now this thing so anyways yeah. uh i'm with you man i give you i give it a three i can't wait to see what they do no matter what it's gonna be it's exciting gonna be so great. um i'm actually gonna kind of just jump on the smash business right here and uh and say that it's going to be not not really anything specific about the game but it's going to lead into the launch of amiibo 2.0 
Uh, and here's the thing, Bobby. It's going to happen, and everybody who said that they left Amiibo behind, you can just like start to walk that back a little bit. It's okay. We all try to walk away from our addictions, but it's in our blood. Amiibo 2.0, here's, here's the degree of difficulty, guys. It's going to be a rare extravaganza. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff from Microsoft coming on over into Smash, and they're going to be Amiibo forms. So you're going to have your Banjo-Kazooie Amiibo. You're going to have your Conqueror mm. Amiibo. You're going to have your Battletoads Amiibo. It's going to be incredible. That is my prediction. It's totally crazy. It's bonkers. Everybody's going bonkers for Conquerors, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm, gonna do my, I'm going to do my bad bit face. <laughs> Look up into the sky. I think, uh, I think that Nintendo might start to go more digital with things. I think that if you if you look at the Wii U game, to own the entire Smash Bros. game is about like 150, 200 bucks with everything that everything that they do. I think that it's going to be really, really digital. I don't want them to do the the whole Amiibo thing again. I think it might happen though, because th- that like started it all. Yeah. I think I'm gonna say three. Oh, how could they not, man? This is like this is like such easy money. They make the game, sure, they buy it once, and then you buy a closet full of crap. Yeah, and I really think that see because if we go the way of what I was saying, where here's twelve fighters, and then we slowly get one a month. That sounds like waves to I me, man. See, yeah, I can see Nintendo going like, here's wave one, here's your first twelve. This is your starting twelve. And then they just start building each, you know, every couple of months, here comes a new character, and then this amiibo is available. Mm-hmm. God, I hate this. <laughs> uh, I pray it doesn't happen, man. I just really don't want to. Well, how rare, how rare are the other Smash movie. Amiibo? Do you think that they would maybe re release some? No. They've sort of, no. I feel like they've filled in They're not that gaps. hard anymore. They were. Yeah. The, only one that, the only one to this day that is still difficult to get is Wii Fit Trainer. Yep. The rest of them are not that difficult to get. Oh, okay. Um, that was my first one. So, yeah, I, I think that um, I wish I had her package too, because I bet you that thing's gonna be worth some money. Um, <laughs> should I, do, but I should think... I do the move that she's doing? She's doing like dancer move. You guys, you guys want to see? That? <laughs> yeah. so she's doing like this. That's actually pretty good. Is, yeah. Hey, I'm doing it. That's not too bad. There you go. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. I think I, I think I pulled um, my groin. Holy crap! Exactly. <laughs> 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 um, I would probably say sweating. A three. Okay. I would probably say a three. Yeah. Maybe a four. Because I think that it's something that's it's one of those ones that I think can't happen, but it's crazy enough to happen. Yep. Um, I would probably go a four on that one, yes. honestly. I dig it. I like it. Okay, okay Bobby, keep it moving, man. What's your what's okay. your uh, last one that last I'm going to announce? I'm, I'm torn because I have two, and I'm kind of like, I feel like both of them could happen, but I feel like the better of the two is probably this one. Bethesda announces Fallout 4 coming to the Switch. It will happen in 2018. Um, And I feel like it's going to have all the DLC packaged in with it and everything to go. I think it's going to happen. That's my feeling. That would be incredible. That would be... Because the thing that is happening with Bethesda is they they just keep committing to it and showing that like if you think that there's limitations of course there are but they're like we can break through those limitations absolutely and man. and they are the nintendo of now like they are this generation's nintendo working they within the yeah working within the parameters yep. and, and blowing people's minds like you know what man all these people talking about wolfenstein like oh it's not as good f you man they're taking a game that was run that was built for the for the xbox one and the ps4 and, PC. and making it run on the yeah, and making it run on the Switch. Like, unheard of, yeah, dude. Man. That is nuts. Like, Doom, I was like, well, I can see it happening. But Wolfenstein 2, like, and, and, the, and the predictions, like, or, the, or the, the comparisons were like, well, it's it's better than Doom on the Switch. Dude, it's amazing that they're putting these games on the Switch. Like, get out of the way of that stuff. Like, this is stuff that nobody, not a single person ever thought was going to come from third parties. Every single person said the only way that Nintendo or any third party can get games on the Switch are if they're lesser versions. Mm-hmm. Dude, yes, it's lesser, but it's not that much lesser. Like, do the comparison shots. Show me a PS4. Show me an Xbox One. Because you know what? When you looked at, like, NBA, um, 2K, and all these different third-party games, Nintendo's not that far off the wagon. Yes, yeah. it doesn't do all the bells and whistles, but it's pretty damn close, mm-hmm. you know, like, and I think that when you look at that, it's like, I think that they could pull it off. If anybody 
Bethesda can pull it you off. And believer, about, Bethesda. You and I talked about you and I talked about this a lot, especially before the when we found out what the Switch was, but before it launched, we were and uh, Mass Effect Andromeda was one of my most anticipated yes. games. Rest in peace. Um, yes. And I remember <laughs> saying to you, like, I'll take a huge hit if I can take Mass Effect on the go. Like that would be absolutely yeah. incredible. This one, I'm I'm agreeing with you. I would really like to see this happen. I'm, I'm I'll get my score in just a second, but before I do, the one thing that I will note, and you talked about the the graphical hit on Doom. I was watching Jason Lacey's stream about a week ago or a week and a half ago or something. And I thought for sure, I thought he was playing on PC. Yeah. I thought I'm like, cause I was asking him like, how many frames per second are you getting on this thing? Like it looked buttery smooth. It looked like yeah. the motion and everything. It looked like he was aiming with a mouse. And I, I was convinced like it, it wasn't even like a side by side. I saw it yeah. and I'm like, I know he plays on PC. Probably this is PC. I didn't even, I just didn't think of even doom on the switch either so yeah man that if that's not a demonstration of what the power yeah, of the switch is then i don't know what is dude like i was yeah. i was blown away to find out i that think that it's switch. the power of the combination of what the switch can do and what bethesda is yeah creating. you gotta put the work in to get that yeah, done. bethesda is mind-numbingly good man mm -hmm. they really are and i know they take hits because their games have glitches in them stuff like that but they're you know when they first announced it, it was like skyrim Everybody was like, well, that's all. That's the best we're going to get out of them. These 2011 games or whatever. Yep. Like, they're not really going to ramp it up. And then they come back and they're like, nope, we're doing Doom. And they're like, well, that's not that old. You know, of course they could do that. And then they go, oh, by the way, we're doing Wolfenstein 2. Like, I really think that they crush it with these games. And Nintendo is basically holding their hands and going, like, we're going to help you along the way. We want your games here. Let's make this happen. And I think it's a perfect marriage between the two. And I'll throw it to Patrick in just a second. I want to quickly touch on one thing, too, where Bethesda is really trying to see what is the next big thing. So they did Doom on VR. Like, they've really kind of committed there, and and, and it, it did a thing. Like, it wasn't it wasn't it didn't light the world on fire. I think they're seeing the Switch light the world on fire. And for me, that's really encouraging as, like, a traditional type of gamer. Like, I want, like, that reinforcement that these types of games, this type of experience is here for a long, long time. As, as excited as I am for VR... I don't want everything to go to VR, just as, like I don't want everything to be battle royale. Like I, the, some of these like big things, they get a lot of momentum. Everything goes over there, so I'm excited. I agree. I think this is uh, this should happen. Patrick, what do you think? Like, is would this even excite you? Well, let me ask you that actually. Uh, it would excite me just because I I missed out on it with the other consoles, uh, and I I couldn't really just get into it, and I feel like. Uh, Skyrim was a game that I played a ton, like maybe like 500 hours. Did you like, really? No joke. Yeah, and in playing it on the Switch, I it's like playing it on an Xbox One. To be completely honest, mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's an older game, and that's that's kind of expected. But yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you guys are right. Bethesda wants a big presence on this console. Like they want to be known as like the third party on this console. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's kind of a it's kind of a win win. I mean, they've made their money on Fallout, so why not put it on? And there's a ton of content from for that game. So if yeah. maybe they offer that separate or like a complete edition, but I think they've already made their money on that game. I think it goes on there. I think in order for it to not take a hit from Nintendo fans, it needs to be a definitive edition. It yeah. has to be across. And you know what? I could even see them throwing in a bobble, well, not a bobblehead, but a Fallout oh, Boy that would be awesome. Amiibo. If they oh, put a Fallout Boy so Amiibo good. in there, people would eat it up, man. That'd eat be cool. it up. I don't, I don't, don't get me wrong. I don't, that's not my, part of my prediction. Yep. No, but I'm I want to, I just like, want to note it that you at least mentioned it. It's not going to yeah, be part of it. We won't it hold could, you to it. That would be massive, dude. People would, it, dude, you thought, because here's the thing. You looked at like Dark Souls. Nobody, nobody saw that amiibo coming in. I know, in. it's so you weird. I mean? Yeah. And it's like, but you know what, man? That's a huge thing to have. Like, that's a massive thing to have in that mm. game. So, so oh, I'm man, game, I want that so yeah. bad now. Could you imagine Fallout Boy, man? Just like, uh, so awesome. Uh, Patrick, what's your score on this one, man? Um, so you're saying that this is going to be in the E3 presentation? Yes. Do it not again. I think it'll get announced the weekend, whether it's at Bethesda's or Nintendo's. Because last year, wait a minute, last year they didn't talk about any Switch games at their conference. That Skyrim showed up at the Nintendo conference, I think. Yeah. Um, yep. Or no, no, they didn't. No, that's wrong. They did because they showed off the Link stuff. In, in their conference. So I think both, it could anyways. be, it was in both actually. Yeah. So I think it could be both. I think it's kind of like the Ubisoft one. I said, where it'll show up a couple days before at the Bethesda conference. And then it shows up later at, um, I think it's just a blip mm -hmm. on the Nintendo radar, like just showing some footage, 
I think Bethesda takes some time and really shows it off and shows what it can do and all that stuff. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to give you a three I just because I think this is kind of more of an exclusive. I feel like this is like the party to get into. I feel like this is going to be heavily Nintendo. That might be a direct announcement, but I think Ooh. that they're they're going to just stick it a lot of Nintendo. I, I forgot who, who said that third parties aren't going to be a big presence. I... I do you agree with that? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's going to be a lot of a lot of Nintendo stuff shown. It, I I do see it coming out this year, but I don't know if it's E three worthy. Let's just say. Very <laughs> very interesting. I can't wait, man. This is this whole conversation got me so hyped for freaking E three, man. I can't believe we're, <laughs> or, well, we're by the time this airs, we're about three weeks away. I can't freaking wait. Patrick, what's your Jeez. last what's your last prediction, man? Okay. Uh, my last prediction. It's on the safer side. I think that Odyssey is not done. I think we're gonna get. Odyssey DLC. I'll go. I'm gonna go even further. I think two new worlds open up, and I think that it's actually on the lower price side. I think it's gonna be like a 9.99 or like a 14.99. We're gonna get two worlds, and I don't know what the worlds are. I I don't know how deep I want to get this. It's not too bad because yeah, I wonder. Like I don't know if I. If, yeah, I don't. I keep going. Sorry, I was trying to fill. Yeah, uh, two interesting. worlds. I think yep. between ten to fifteen dollar price point. Mm-hmm. Bobby, does the world need this before we get into no. the likelihood? Yeah, no. that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. I don't want. Listen, Odyssey was an overhyped game. Ooh. I don't feel like it's that good. Um, I feel you're like you're fine it's with good. it. I'm, I think it's okay. I don't think that Odyssey was this juggernaut that people made it out to be. I don't even think, I would go as far as to say, like, I didn't even think that Odyssey should have been in the Game of the Year talks. I feel like it was a good game, but when I look back over the history, I think history is not going to be kind to Odyssey. I think mm-hmm. that it's going to look back and go, like, this This fell a little short in the grand scheme of things. It's not my favorite Mario game at all. Um it probably would fall in, in terms of 3D games. Probably fall out of the top five, if I was being honest. Wow. Um, so, I think they kind of leave Odyssey behind. I think if they do DLC packaging for it, it'll just be more costumes and more dumb stuff like that, like different different balloons that you could pick. I think like, that's I just, part it, of the it, problem, though, man. Yeah. It, it it's kind of like a weak base game, and yeah. I don't know, man. I was looking at the sales numbers. That's it, what I was gonna over- say. This is 10 million plus yep. already for a system. You throw out DLC, everyone's going to yeah, buy it. Yeah, but you got to think like this, though. Nintendo, honestly, is not a DLC-heavy company. Um, there's there's games that they do come back and throw DLC at. I don't see Odyssey... Like, they've done DLC already for Odyssey. Don't get me wrong. I just don't see them going more heavily towards that way. I think it's done. You know what I mean? Like, I think whatever they were going to do would have been done at this point. I could be wrong, and maybe I am wrong. I don't know. But I just Ooh, feel wrong. like it's kind of it's kind of gone, and they're basically moving on to the next one. I think it's similar to... Because when I look at like what they did with Zelda Breath of the Wild, I know I was on the hype train about that DLC, but I feel like it fell flat. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, like DLC should be relegated to like a Splatoon and ARMS, Mario Kart, Mark those Kart, types of yeah. things. Yeah, because it's more of like an aesthetic thing. Like what they're doing with the DLC for Odyssey with the the outfits, I'm okay with that. That's fine. It doesn't draw me back to the game at all. Nintendo got their money, hand over fist on that game. I don't I don't see them really. I think they're done with Odyssey. So that sounds like you're kind of in the four or five kind of category. Yeah, I think I would probably say a four. Yeah, you know, honestly, I'm on the opposite end. I don't think like I think he'll get like partial points because I think there will be a DLC announced. Mm. I think there will have some DLC. I just don't think it's op- new worlds. Everybody's oh, clamoring they want new worlds, and I just don't see that happening. I think they're done with that. They'll throw little rinky-dink things at it, like maybe you'll get a new hat or a new costume or something, but I don't see them coming with a new world. Yeah, and I, I think that the biggest thing is just looking at that 10 million unit sales, and you can't yeah. walk away from that game. That's a that's a big old well that they can dip back into. My final prediction is a bit of a smash cut of a few things because I have to get rid of my whole uh, 3DS Zelda thing. So I want 
Wave Race and Pilot Wings coming back. And for some reason, I'm throwing into this prediction, totally unrelated, the style of the, the presentation. We've had uh, Robot Chicken. We've had the Muppets or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, it's yeah. always this cool stylized thing. I want an anime thing. Like, I want this to be, like, so Japanese it barely makes sense. Or, like, it's just dripping with anime greatness. I want music and, like, crazy backgrounds and stuff. I think it would be hilarious. I want anime, Wave Race, and Pilot Wings. Uh, I believe you guys can go ahead and award me my tens on this one. That's, so that's, please that's go ahead. way out of it. It's not even close to happening <laughs> at all. Anime wave race. Yeah, <laughs> not the game itself. The presentation no, no, no. of the, pre- the presentation. The presentation is totally oh, okay. unrelated. The anime no. stuff is totally unrelated. But for some reason, I'm just like throwing I think, like. I think they go back to the whole Reggie in the, the forest type thing. Like that whole. Yeah, yeah I he's think got, he's going to have a soliloquy like, in the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't think that it's. I, I it's think about the game. five. Five all day long. Okay. I don't think that it's. What, think it what do you think about what do you think about Wave Race and Pilot Wings though? Is that never, is, ne- <laughs> never, never? How do you really Wait, feel? Maybe Pilot, Pilot Wings. Maybe Pilot missing... Wings. Wave Race never <laughs> happening. It's dead. Dead franchise over. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna break the scale on this one. Six. Yeah, <laughs> man, I did it. I, I I don't know, man. Pilot Wings, Bobby. I, I miss this this saying that you used to say a lot. What is, what is that? in the summer. There we go. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 pretty much yeah, yeah. That's what Pilot Wings is. Yep. Pilot Wings I, is it, it was a decent game. It was fun. It, it was basically shit. You know, it was just not. You know what I mean? Like it's when they brought it to the 3DS, I was just like, why? Why is this here? Why is this a thing? Um, it's not that good. I could see a wave race, but. I still, I'm still going to Why don't we just pile onto this? Uh, wave race using Sea of Thieves um, water technology. <laughs> Why not? Nice. Yeah, that'd be good. Everybody, like, that was the best part <laughs> of that game. Um, I think that's pretty much going to do it. I'm going to see just really quickly. Um, Thanos has a couple Pokemon GDX yellow. Uh, what are you even talking about? Okay, I think that, Bobby, do you want to go ahead and say it? That is all. That is all. Thank you guys so much for listening, being here, SoundCloud, and other stuff that we're probably not on, YouTube.com slash We The Nerdy. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Patrick, thanks for filling in. Uh, Jules, watch and rest in peace. I hope you're having a great Mother's Day. Um, (laughs) Thank you guys for uh, your predictions. And honestly, like, Patrick, you just killed it, man. Like, you, you... you but you just like you just like go to bed every night you're like what am I what if I were to do a prediction show? Hey man, like, I'm in E3 mode. I'm playing Smash Bros. And the- I'm ready. I'm ready. I love it. Well, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody where they can find you on the internet and all of your great stuff? Yeah, that you're man. Working on. Uh, you can find my handsome face at Nintentalk, YouTube.com/slash Nintentalk, Twitter, Instagram, Bargain Bro. Bargain Bro is the best new show on the YouTube, man. <laughs> good stuff that is so good i can't wait for more uh may 15th did you say that is in that will be yep. live by the time this airs so everybody definitely go check that out bobby uh do you have anything to talk about are you still in hiding um i just want to say that the countdown is on Ooh. and this show is not part of the countdown Choo choo. so i've been doing countdowns i don't want people to think they like get confused that this is it's not there's there's something big coming something big right. snap something yeah wave race I know what you. Follow me Instagram, Twitter at Nintendo Gurus. There you go. That, that is, is all. Great. Thank you guys so much. That that is the uh, the final part of our big platform predictions. Monday is our third party predictions. That will be it, and then I can't wait. Then then the regularly scheduled programming will continue with We the Gamer Cast, and um, I'm gonna actually be talking to people after a little musical interlude, and then I'll close out the show. So I'm not sure why I'm still talking. I'm just gonna stop recording. I kind of want to like just start to have everybody call in, or maybe I'll call somebody and just have them part of the intros. That was kind of, what a happy accident. Hi, Dave. I'll call you back in a second. I just talked to you two seconds ago, but for the other people, it's been a good hour and a half since since that happened. So remember when that happened? That was fun. Thank you to Bobby. Thank you to Patrick Paddywagon and Ten Talk. I think that is his full name. Guys, please support everything that Patrick does. He is absolutely, he's so handsome, first of all, and uh, smart and funny and gosh darn it people like them thank you uh to oc remix for the music of course we had to use animal crossing in there soothing rain a little more chill than what's going on in the background right now i i like to like exercise to this song as if i exercise but like sometimes like once every five years or so take the dogs for the walk and i'm like i'm just gonna listen to the song on repeat because i like it so much thank you for subscribing 
I have an idea. One of these days for like the Make Us Better community, we should like dedicate like weeks to everybody committing to just like do the rating. I know we always say thank you for rating us, but like obviously there's more of you who listen than, than rate. We gotta work on that, but we gotta do it all together. And it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna make this big splash and big impact. Um, guys, check out all my streams, youtube.com slash we the nerdy. We've been doing state of decay stuff. You can check me out on the Xbox drive. We're gonna be talking about my experience with that this week. Right after this, after I'm done recording, I'm gonna talk to Alex Van Aken. He's getting the game early as well. So we're gonna have a great time playing that game. I'm so pumped. Thank you for listening on iTunes and Google Play. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Capri. Follow the show. We the Gamer Cast, the website, We the Nerdy. And uh, also, if we ran Nintendo, Monday night is the first night with my new co host, Jason Lacey, 1990s James Cameron. Please, if you like this, this is a lot. I do this because I love it. This is the greatest thing ever. And if you like it, please consider supporting it a dollar or more for uh, patreon.com slash make us better. At $3, you're in the show notes. At $10, you're at the top of the show. And I yell your name so that all my neighbor's dogs can hear and they all start barking outside and it's in hilarious. Um, what else? Thank you to our artist, Gary Gray. Hi, Gary. You said some nice things to me this week, so I hope you're doing well. Not just because you said nice things. I just in general think that you're, you're doing well. Adam Leonard, thank you for drawing all the stuff. Video designer Antonio Guillen. Man, we got a chat. And thank you, Dave, for calling at the start of the show and hosting this this whole shindig at DaySpace.com. Otherwise, this is episode 149, three-fourths of your E3 predictions 2018. Now it's in your ears and your eyeballs at YouTube.com slash WeTheNerdy. This is what happens when I'm home alone. I'm so loud and I'm so fast and I'm so excited. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you guys on Monday. Now it's time for Jason! Jason! Hey, Charlie! Charlie, it's time for Jason! Don't just lay there, Charlie! Jason! 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 Sean! 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 Sean, where are you? Jason! 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 Sean! 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 Jason! 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 Jason!